The Justice Department warned government employees of legal liabilities if they coordinate with the ICC's investigation. Here's the report. Over 50 active and retired police officials have already talked to the International Criminal Court investigators about the Duterte administration's drug war. This is what former senator and staunch Duterte critic Antonio Trillanes recently claimed on his official X account. Trillanes added that the police should help the investigators or they can also be considered as suspects by the ICC. The Justice Department said they have no idea about Trillanes' revelation. But if this is true, they have a warning for government officials who are talking to the ICC. So when a, uh, a government officer or official is uh, coordinating with the ICC against you know, the, um, the, the direction or the orders and the policy of the government, there may be accountability um, involved. DOJ has reiterated that the ICC has no jurisdiction in the Philippines and coordinating with them can be considered as a conflict of interest in the government's foreign policy. DOJ has also stated that this is a violation of Republic Act 6713 or Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees. This law, however, does not cover retired police officials. The Philippine National Police is also unaware of Trillanes' claims and reiterated their unwillingness to cooperate with the ICC. Kung ikaw ay isang active personnel at uh, you, uh, you are uh, performing any activities that is contrary to what is uh, being uh, stated uh, officially ng PNP po, then uh, possibly po na may kakaharapin pong uh, uh, sanction po ang sino mga police na hindi po susunod doon sa tinatawag po nating uh, chain of command po. President Bongbo Marcos previously stood firm on his decision of not recognizing the ICC. For News 5, Maricel Halili, We Are One News.